Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get our Windows 11 21H2 bug fix update rolling out for July of 2023. And 21H2 is the original release. And we are still waiting for the Windows 11 22H2 bug fix update that I would expect to roll out towards the end of this week, if not in the next day or so. Now, the update that has rolled out for the original release is KB5028245 and is the same update I posted on about 10 days or so ago when it was still in release preview and has now made its way to the stable version. And once, if and if you have decided to install the update, because it is an optional update, the build will be bumped up to 22,000.2245. Now, the update is a bug fix update as the optional updates that now roll out in the fourth week of every month are. And there's one new feature. It's a very minor new feature. It's an under-the-hood feature. But Microsoft says that uh, this non-security update um, affects the handwriting software input panel, the handwriting engine, and the handwriting embedded inking control. They now apparently support GB18030-2022 and now meet the level 3 requirements where previously they met the level 2 requirements. So that's a bit of a under-the-hood new improvement rolling out for Windows 11 21H2. Now, Microsoft does draw our attention to uh, two key highlights um, for this um, optional update. They say it addresses an issue that affects virtual private networks, VPNs. There might be excessive address resolution protocol requests to the network gateway. This occurs when the VPN is on a wireless mesh network that uses an aggressive throttling algorithm. Because of this, network performance is poor. So basically, it's a bit of a performance and a stability improvement um, for VPNs if you did, uh, did experience that issue. And then the update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices. Apparently, um, they were missing after some systems resumed from sleep. Now, those are the two key highlights that Microsoft does draw our attention to. And if you do want to stick around, because this is a, a bug fix update that does bring quality improvements, um, the fixes have rolled out that have rolled out or give or take more or less what rolled out for Windows 10 22H2 because Windows 10 and Windows 11 at the base and core are basically the same operating system. But nonetheless, just to mention them for the purpose of this video, the update addresses an issue that affects the Windows notification platform. Apparently, it was failing to send notifications from applications to you. So that's a Windows 10 and Windows 11 fix. And uh, another uh, Windows 10 fix that's made its way into Windows 11. The update addresses an issue that might affect Win32 and Universal Windows Platform. Those are the UWP apps uh, in the actual operating system that are bundled with the OS. So if you have experienced any issues with your UWP apps, uh, then um, just install this update as it is an optional update. Now, here's an important fix. The update addresses an issue that affects certain CPUs. Apparently, there was inconsistent reporting of the level 2 cache. So that might be a little bit of a performance increase uh, with that bug being resolved. And this update enhances, now this is a bit of an enhancement. It enhances hinting for some of the letters of the Verdana Pro font family. And the update addresses, and a, a, the update affects, sorry, user mode printer drivers. They unload unexpectedly. And this occurs when you print from multiple print queues to the same printer driver. And that also rolled out for Windows 10. And here's another one. Um, the update addresses an issue that might affect your computer when you are playing a game. So this is a gaming improvement if you are doing a lot of gaming on Windows 11 version 21H2. Apparently, time out detection and recovery errors might occur. So that's also rolled out for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, the original release. Now, there's a bit of a firewall fix that's rolled out. And Microsoft says the update addresses an issue that affects the Defender firewall profile. It fails to automatically switch from a LAN from a LAN that is trusted to a public network. So that's a bit of a firewall uh, improvement and fix. And then the last one to mention for this video, there are a couple of others, but as I always do, I like to just highlight a couple which I think may be of benefit and you may be interested in. Uh, the update addresses an issue that causes Windows to fail. And this is actually an important one. It also rolled out for Windows 10 as I posted on earlier today. 
and is now also rolled out for Windows 11, 21H2. So any update that fixes an issue where Windows is failing, I would consider to be important. Apparently, um, this was occurring when you use BitLocker on a storage medium that has a large sector size. So that's uh, more or less what's rolled out. As mentioned, just one under the hood new improvement for Windows 11 21H2 users with KB5028245. And we are expecting the Windows 11 22H2 optional update to roll out, I would say, over the next day or so, if you were wondering where that update is. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.